Hello? Hey, what's up, Sean? Not a lot. Which J is this? Uh, the one from Boulder. The one that fucking, um, that you known for umpteen years. Uh, here, hold on. I'll send you a picture. Are you the Jay who uh, wears the bandana everywhere? Yes. All right. There's a few Jays that I know from Boulder, like uh, Leah Plunkett's ex. Jay Hawk. Yep. Jay Bird. Yep, know yeah, him know. too. There's a few of us. <laughs> yep. What you been on? Um, a whole lot of hell. Uh oh, what happened? Um, well, there was a. You remember when I hurt my back in like 2015? Yeah. Yeah, well, after that, I wasn't able to take care of myself. The border police wouldn't leave me alone, and I was going to try to commit suicide when a young woman named Natalie Bond well, came to my rescue. Well, Natalie got shot in the head in December of 2017 after I had been harassed, threatened, and assaulted for over a year over her bullshit. But she was on drugs and she couldn't stay Damn. clean. So a lot of people in Boulder... That ain't good? It ain't good at all. So a lot of people in Boulder came at me. I, I still can't see my loved ones there. The police came at me, wouldn't leave me alone. A lot of my friends stabbed me in the back, pretended like they gave a shit about me. We lost connection there, bud. Connection status is poor. Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry. My connection status is poor. I just listened to it beep at me for a minute. Okay. So what did you need to ask me? Uh, do you know a cat named Eli? I know a couple of cats named Eli. How about the one that's about mine and Rabbit's age? Uh, has he got a beard? He's got kind of brown eyes. Um, probably Stop. about. Oh, you got a picture yeah. of him? I don't have a picture of him with me. So what about him? Uh, he was asking about you. No, well, actually, he was talking. Asking about rabbit. What do you say? Um, that he was uh, wondering what he was up to, and that um he would like to try to sit down and um visit with him. Ah, well, me and rabbit aren't on speaking terms. Oh shit. Yeah. He can't stay off the meth, and when I needed family, he just wasn't there. He was too busy getting fucked up on meth. Well, that sucks. No. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't really been able to see him without getting threatened or assaulted in, like, over two years now. Damn. Yeah. Bunch of motherfuckers came at me over what happened to Natalie. They painted me up like I was some sort of super psycho serial killer rapist motherfucker. Damn. Yeah. And then after they caught the guy who did it, they still wouldn't leave me the fuck alone. I got assaulted by police on seven different occasions. That's bullshit. It is bullshit. And then they won't do anything about it because it's across multiple jurisdictions. The judges took part in covering each other's asses. The police took part in covering each other's asses. 
Natalie's family wouldn't leave me the fuck alone. They're connected in Boulder. Fucking Ted used to be a... Well, he's still a drug dealer. But, like, he had his daughters yeah. down there selling drugs when they were, like, 13, dude. Damn. Yeah, so I'm dealing with him and his connections and his family, and holy fuck, they're crazy. Me and Eric are about the only decent people in our family. And it's fucked up because he got all slipped into that meth and shit. Right. So Eli was just wanting to see how Rabbit's doing? Yeah, pretty much. And I was wondering what he was up to and to see if he wanted to um hang out and fucking grab a bite to eat. But is he around? or? I don't know. I can't go to Colorado. Oh, okay. I have to be uh, afraid of police assault if I go there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. You know how it is when they got your number. Yeah, I really do. You know, they still won't they take my talk. report. They still won't. Um, right. Ramos has uh, ended up getting um, sick. Yeah, I saw that on the internet. I got a call with him earlier this year recorded. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was trying to get his help with these officers and get his help to... Fuck, dude, these goddamn pigs. I mean, when there's nobody in your corner who actually gives a shit, they can do whatever they want. My family didn't give a yeah. shit. They just watched. My dad finally did something over a year after Natalie was dead. He was like, all right, I'll, I'll help you out. I'm like, fuck, dude, good. I get up there and the, the help that I needed, he was, fuck, dude. I tried explaining to him that I needed uh, an honest court date in order to be able to get my money back, in order to get my disability back. Yeah. He didn't want to hear that. Damn. Yeah. Hey, can I call you? Can I call you back here in a couple minutes? Uh, my friend just drove by, and I need to get a hold of him. Yeah, yeah you're good. All right, thanks, bud. Be safe, Jay. Peace, love, and mark it on. Right. All right, later, bud. Bye. Mm -hmm. July 29th, 2019. Yep, that's the same guy I know. I, uh... <clears throat> I hate my life. In order to get the police to take my report, I needed someone to go in with me in person. I needed a case manager that would do something. I, I needed an advocate and a lawyer. Things that I couldn't get on my own. That's what the police prey on when you're homeless, is that you don't have the money for a civil lawyer. So, in order to defend yourself against them, you need people who actually care. The people in my case who should have actually cared just didn't give a fuck. With Miss Peaches, we uh, tried to get it set up to go in and make an appointment. It only took her seven months to do that. Six months. I mean, I'm jumping through all these hoops trying to make all these people happy. Meanwhile, I have to travel around to all of these different counties, and I have to do it in person because of my technical abilities. I couldn't get anybody to help teach me how to do these things. The only reason I'm able to make YouTube videos is because I got help. I got help in person. Amanda Ingeline showed me how to do that. 
But more important than that would be showing me how to requisition my hospital stuff. More important than that would be teaching me how to make a police report. I mean, I, I've filled out so much stuff and it, like, I end up nowhere. People say you need to go see a therapist. I was seeing therapists before Natalie was killed. What I needed is a fucking lawyer. That's why I was getting a hold of Jeff Ritter. That's why I went over to Miss Peach's house. Now, all four times that I went over to Miss Peach's house, I let her know I was coming. We agreed that we would sit down and she was going to make time, and she just never did. She was allowed to have downtime. I'm not. I don't get it. It's not that I'm allowed down. I'm not allowed downtime with Miss Peaches. She'd allow it. I mean, Miss Peaches is wonderful. She just didn't understand to begin with, and now that it's it's too late, like she could still make a statement. She could still try to help how I asked. Like Miss Miss Peaches, I need you to make a statement. I, I don't need you to try to get me in contact with thirty different people that aren't going to make a statement about my case who weren't involved because that doesn't help me, all right? It doesn't. Now, in the long run, it might, but only if I can get you to keep your word to write that goddamn statement. If the cops are refusing to take your statement, they're putting you at risk. They're putting me at risk. They're putting a lot of people at risk. I shouldn't have had to do all this on Facebook I should have been allowed my human rights. I should have had the right to face my accusers. And the cops should have taken reports from people. I got this guy Russell. He, uh, he's a good man, you know. But he... He's a lazy Christian. There's a difference between lazy Christians and active Christians. Active Christians are the evil ones who use Jesus as an excuse to go harming others. And they're constantly harming others in Jesus' name. While the lazy Christians, they pray. They pray and they pray and they pray and they pray. And it gets nothing done. Except wasting their time. Because you know what? Jesus is dead. You want to go killing people in the name of Jesus... You must be a Bollinger. I wouldn't have to go to Facebook if the cops actually did their goddamn jobs, but they never will. Why is that? Why is it that the police won't do their goddamn jobs when you're homeless? Why is it that Boulder police officers get away with these things? Well, it's because they... Choose to target people with no money and no defense and nobody in their corner. Was Miss Peaches in my corner? No, if she was in my corner, she'd have done as I asked. She would have kept her word. Those four times that I went to her house, the first time was in December of 2016. The last time was December of 2017, a whole year. And when I went to her house, I made sure I contributed. And I put up with Abraham's abuse. That fucking sucked. I put up with a lot. But Miss Peaches, she could have gone in with me. She could have helped to put a stop to all of this by going in with me. While I begged for seven months for help, getting someone to go in with me. Help me in person, please. I need help in person to make an electronic report, or I need help in person to make an in-person report, and it's all expensive, and I can't afford it. I need help. So Miss Peaches, she kept on telling me, we'll set up the appointment. Tell me when, Miss Peaches. Tell me when you're going to have time so that I have a witness this time for once. 
a witness who's at least somewhat familiar with this situation, instead of Graham, who's a fucking dumbass. That guy is seriously dumb as a fucking brick. But Miss Tabby's going to take his side because he's fucking her. And that's pretty messed up. The guy already showed his loyalty. He ain't got none. He already showed that his Jesus is a fake. I really have an issue with all of these people not killing me. Because they gave me their word they would do things. The things they gave me their word that they would do could have helped me to get an honest day in court. But they didn't keep their word on that. So I never got an honest day in court. So everything that I was working for got fucked. Because they didn't care when it made a difference. Kind of like Katie Cahill. Tell me she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna. Well, no, she's not. Statute of limitations on that shit is up. She didn't make a statement. Moose didn't make a statement. None of these people who said that they would make a statement ever got off their ass to actually do it. And as far as people going in with me to make a statement, I am easy to fucking victimize. Because I have to trust someone. I can't ask my family for help. They will abuse me. And that's as simple as it is. You guys should have helped me how I asked or killed me. Help me to get an honest day in court or I will be tortured for the rest of my life over this slander.